Welcome to Bar India News R. Will aluminum ion battery bring revolution in the automotive industry? The aluminum ion battery can charge up to 60 times faster than lithium ion cells. The Saudi backed Indian researchers Saturn Nose is becoming the latest to join the race for aluminum ion batteries. Now, Saturn Nose is witnessing backing from many quarters. It is now considered as the most disruptive new next gen deep technology rechargeable battery, which is an alternative to lithium ion on a first of its kind provenness with technology backing. The energy storage solution built is the lowest per kilowatt in the world with best TCO and life of usage. The main feature of this new rechargeable battery enables the lowest capex strength that is almost one third compared to lithium ion and one fourth on pump storage, longer durability with efficiency. Aluminum ion battery cells are a hotbed of development, particularly for automotive use. The graphene aluminum ion battery cells from the Brisbane based graphene manufacturing group that is TMG are claimed to charge up to 60 times faster than the best lithium ion cells and hold three times the energy of the best aluminum based cells. This technology is going to bring potential challenge to India's lithium ion battery market, which was valued at $1.66 billion in 2020 and it is expected to reach $4.85 billion by 2027, registering a CAGR of 17.23% during the forecast period of 2022 to 2027. The technology is first of its kind proven in the world and getting patented as EA21 that is Enhanced Altered Aluminium Iron. This is the first aluminium iron commercial battery lab tested with advanced features to lithium iron and extreme cost advantage. There is a group of scientists and experts from IIT Delhi building the technology with a global virtual team. The new company is fund packed from Denventure SA and has invested funding by Austria government to start. The Niti IO with its scientific panel highly approved the technology and gave immense support and invited to have it in India. It is claimed that it will be the world's first commercial grade aluminium iron solid state battery when it launches this next year when it hopes to bring the long slow process of swapping out the riskier lithium iron battery chemistry. Boasting an energy density of more than 1500 watt hours per litre, the new chemistry is promised to deliver more than 600 watts per hour per kilogram. As per a report, it is claimed to deliver up to 20,000 charge discharge cycles that is compared to a maximum of 5,000 for lithium ion and delivers up to 15 years of stable life in automotive use. Going forward, aluminium ion batteries could replace lithium ion with these cutting edge technology innovations. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. Huawei secures network upgradation contract from Bharti Airtel. Telecom gear company Huawei has backed an around rupees 150 crores order for maintenance of Bharti Airtel's transmission network. The order is part of an existing deal between Huawei and Airtel and is in compliance with the National Security Directive on Telecommunications that allows continuation of old contracts. The pressure on Huawei has increased over the last year or so amidst escalating Sino-Indian border tensions and question marks over its supply chain given US sanctions. Airtel Payments Bank collaborates with ICICI Lombard for providing cyber insurance. Airtel Payments Bank has partnered with ICICI Lombard General Insurance Company to offer insurance solutions against cyber crimes and financial frauds to its customers which can be purchased from the Airtel Thanks app. The solution from ICICI Lombard provides financial protection to customers against potential financial cyber frauds related to banking, credit or debit cards as well as protection against identity theft, phishing, email spoofing and others. Pfizer to acquire FinZact Leading fintech and payments company Pfizer has agreed to acquire cloud-native banking solution provider FinZact. Pfizer will purchase the remaining ownership interest in FinZact for $650 million and will leverage the acquisition to add to FinServe's account processing, digital and payments solutions. The acquisition will help bolster FinServe's position as partner of choice for firms looking to add to their digital banking offerings. FinSact has built a SaaS platform engineered to support the scale and regulatory requirements of the largest US-based financial institutions. Its cloud-native banking system provides 100% accessibility to all data and functions via a set of APIs. Polygon Technology raises $450 million. 
Ethereum based blockchain scaling service provider Polygon has raised $450 million in a funding round led by Secure Capital India, Tiger Global Management, and SoftBank. Polygon offers an Ethereum infrastructure platform and plans to use the funds to consolidate its lead position and pave the way for mass adoption of Web3 applications. The company is building a suite of scaling solutions including Polygon Point of Sale, Polygon Edge and Polygon Away, which is similar to what Amazon Web Services offers to Web2 developers. SoftBank's ARM Limited plans IPO instead of sale. SoftBank Group Corporation's sale of ARM Limited to US chipmaker NVIDIA Corp has collapsed and now ARM would plan for an IPO instead of the sale, which would have been worth as much as $80 billion. The US Federal Trade Commission sued to block it last year, arguing that competition in the nation markets for chips in self-driving cars and a new category of networking chips could be hurt if NVIDIA carried out the purchase. The termination of the deal could also affect a legal dispute between ARM's China joint venture and Alan Liu, the joint venture's original CEO. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.